Here you've got a rectangle where the perimeter is 20 and the area is 24. You've got to work out this length x and this length y. So you could probably sit there and guess your way to the answer. But in the, in the future, these numbers won't be nice and easy for you to just guess. It would be very complicated. But for this uh, video, let's just um, work it out so it's easier for me to illustrate the method. Learn the method, not the guessing route. Anyway, uh, the perimeter is 20, so let's, set, let's use algebra to set, to set up the two equations. Um, the perimeter is x plus y plus x plus y. So 2x plus 2y equals 20. And the area, the area is x times y must come up to 24. x times y must come up to 24. So we've got to find x and y such that both of these are satisfied at the same time. So let's simplify the first one. Let's divide everything by 2. So that would be x, y. Uh, x plus y must come up to 10. And let's leave the second equation alone. So, uh, so now when you're here... What it's saying is that you have to search for two numbers. When you multiply them together, it comes up to 24. When you add them together, it comes up to 10. Now, you can guess, but remember, we're trying to understand the method. The method is more important. So, um, so let's, um, from, from the first equation, let's make y the subject. So, take away x from both sides. So, that will then give us this. So remember y, so this is saying the same thing. So y is 10 take away x. Now put this into the y here. So that would be x. Remember, y is this thing here. So put it into the y here. So that would be 10 take away x um, equals 24. You see, if we can solve this, then we will automatically automatically satisfy these two equations. So it's, it's just really down to this um, to us solving this equation. So let's multiply this out. So that would be um, uh, 10x take away x squared equals 24. So now we can see that this is a quadratic equation problem because uh, you've got x squared, x, and 24. Now, I'm assuming you know how to solve quadratic equations by completing the square. There are other ways, but I'm just going to show you how to complete the square as well. So, to solve a quadratic equation, you need to get it in the form of 0 equals ax squared plus bx plus c. You want this, uh, you want the coefficient to be a positive. So, um, so let's add this, add x squared, take away x from both sides. So the left hand side will be this. Um, adding x squared will give you x squared, taking away that, and then this will remain positive 24. Because you add x squared, you take away 10x. So it really boils us down boils down to us trying to solve this. There are lots of ways of solving this now, but I'm just going to complete the square. So it's always going to be half of this. So x minus 5 squared, take away the rubbish. The rubbish will be this thing times by itself, 25, uh, and then carry this thing down, plus 24 equals this. Well, I'm assuming you know how to do this step. Um, if not, then you've got to research. Um, single number, single number, merge them together. That would be 1. That would be negative 1. So now uh, you, you want to get x on its own. So add 1 to both sides. Square root both sides and then add 5. When you square root, you get two versions, a positive and a negative, and then you add 5. Add 5. So that would be your x. So what that means is from here, you can see that x is, oh, root 1 is 1. Root 1 is 1. So, so x would be, uh, there are two values of x. x could be uh, 5 plus 1. So x could be 6, 5 plus 1. Or it could be 5 minus 1. x1 and x2. So, the, uh, so 5 minus 1 would be 4. You see, this thing here, we have a length of 6 and a height of 4. Now you can see that the perimeter would be uh, 20 and the area is 24, okay?